bodice back just because we are gonna start our alteration packet with the bodice back. So it's gonna make the more sense. We're just gonna trace it right onto the paper. You want your pen to be able to go all the way down in the darts. My voice is gonna be so loud on this recording. It's okay. Make sure you record where your notches are. Then make sure that you also get your pen or your pencil down into your bust points. I mean, your dart points. And that you trace the entire outside. So when you're done, you should have a traced version on paper instead of cardstock of what you already cut out out of cardstock. Now I need to put seam allowances on it. Now traditional seam allowances in apparel is what? Five eighths. Five eighths. Now cut that in half because you're working on half scale. What does that make that number? Five sixteenths. And it's unreasonable. It's difficult to find on a ruler. It's gonna suck it to keep it consistent. So you choose what seam allowance you want. If I were constructing any of these half scales, a quarter inch is too small. My surging is wider than that. But we're not constructing. This is all theory. So a quarter inch seam allowance is clean. It's proportionate. It looks good. So I'm gonna use my ruler and I'm gonna put seam allowances on all the edges that are straight. Now the top of the shoulder looks straight, but I have a complication. So number one, it's not straight. And number two, there's a dart. So can you see how I left a gap right here at the top of the dart? Okay, now how am I gonna get seam allowance on this curve and this curve? however your brain works. What works better for me is to make sure that right here, I'm at a quarter of an inch coming straight across the right here at the top. I'm a quarter of an inch oh. coming straight down. And then I make marks every quarter of an inch. and then I can connect my dots. I'm like in your bubble. Does that make sense? You're fine to be in my bubble. <laughs> okay. Now I've done this a long time. So I'm a pretty good gauge of what a quarter inch is. Should we measure? Dead on accurate, folks. I'm good. Okay, now what do I do down here? We're complicated twice, because it's a curve and I have a dart. So I can start my seam allowance, but I need to stop and not interfere with the dart. When we are constructing, I need to know what the seam allowance on these darts are gonna be. And cause these darts are gonna be closed and folded one direction. The paper also has to be closed and folded the correct direction before we complete the seam allowance. So if this is the right side of my fabric that shows on the outside of your body. And this is the wrong side of my fabric, back here. Back here is the wrong side. There we go. That is close to my body. And I have a dart that is coming vertically down off the shoulder. I need to fold the extra fabric of the dart on the inside of my body towards the center of my body. 
but I'm working on this side of the paper. So everything's in reverse. That make any sense at all. So I'm gonna take this line right here and I'm gonna fold it to touch this line so that the triangle of paper on the back side is going this direction. I do not care about the entire dart. I only care about what's happening right at seam line. So I don't care if the rest of the dart is clean or folded. I only care about what's happening right here. With my dart folded, I complete my seam allowance. And with the dart still folded, I cut the seam allowance. Now, when I open back up the dart, do you wanna just get in a little closer? It's half scale, so it's less proportionate, but can you see how this made a little duck bill? That's gonna mean when I construct the dart and press the dart the correct direction, that my seam allowance in the back still is flush and even with my seam allowance. If it was folded the other way, I'd have too much seam allowance or I would have not enough seam allowance, okay? So down here, it's also a vertical dart, which means the extra in the back gets folded towards the center. So I'm gonna take this line and fold it this way because I'm working in a mirror. Once again, I only happen what's happen I only care what's happening here at seam line. I don't care around about the rest of the dart. I would care about that at construction, not at patterning. I need to hold that closed while I cut. And then when I open it up and lay it flat, you can see I've got a duck bill. Does that make sense? Then the rest of the sloper or the rest of the working pattern you can cut out like normal. You need a couple of these. So do two backs just as practice. Then we'll go from there. <laughs> 